Sometimes you just need a slider shot and you don't have a slider with you. So today we're going to try to replicate a slider shot in post. I feel like slider shots have become one of the most popular shots just period, whether it be cinematically or whether it be for daily vlogs or for product shoots or whatever the case may be, I feel like I feel like slider shots are everywhere now. And if you don't have slider shots in your content, sometimes it can seem like you're a little bit behind. But sometimes you can't pack a slider wherever you're going or sometimes you just don't have the time to set up a slider shot or sometimes you just straight up forget your slider. So I'm not going to consider this technique like a full-on replacement for purchasing a slider because sliders are cheap and I would urge that you pick one up if you haven't instead of trying to replicate it in post like this. But I think this technique might work for a few of you depending on your circumstances if you forget your slider or you're just looking for a really impromptu slider shot. In those circumstances, I think that this uh, might be able to help you guys out. So I've set up a couple different slider shots just on a tripod with the camera completely stationary. And my goal by the end of this video is to show you guys how to take these shots and turn them into slider shots. Now keep in mind that this only works if you're working with high resolution footage, so probably 4K or above in terms of your resolution. If you don't have a high enough resolution, you're not going to be able to do this because really this isn't magic. All this is is cropping in and adding some motion. So if you don't have the extra resolution to play around with to be able to crop your image in about four times, then you're probably not going to be able to successfully pull this trick off. But that being said, we can capture 4K footage on our iPhones now. So let's give this a shot. Okay, so how, how did I do this? Well, let's take another section of this clip and let's use that as an example. I'll show you really quickly because it's really quite easy. You're gonna take your clip and the first thing I like to do is find my end framing of my slide. So what that means is I wanna find the framing that is going to be the, the end point of my slide movement. So to do that, I'm going to change the scale until I feel comfortable with it. So let's try 220, it's kinda of, a little too scaled in. Let's do 200 and yeah, okay. And then let's move this positioning around because this doesn't look good at all. Let's say right there, that's gonna look good. And uh oh, we have our keyframing on. Don't have your keyframing on or your animation, so to speak, on to begin with. When you're finding this first frame, all you wanna do is have all of these grayed out and you're just focusing on these numbers here. Now that I have my end framing, I'm gonna go to well, the end position that I wanna use. And so if you wanna do a short slide maneuver, well, just give yourself a few seconds. Or if you want a long slide maneuver, you could do a 10 seconds or even longer. So we're gonna do six seconds. And we're going to now enable animation. That's going to set a keyframe for this exact position on the, on the image that we have zoomed into and set with our positioning. That's going to set a keyframe right there for that position. Now what I'm going to do is go to the start of the starting point of the motion, whether that be the start of the clip or some point throughout the clip, uh, but the starting point of wherever you want your sliding motion to begin. And then from this point on, all we're going to focus on is this position number here. And we're only focusing on the horizontal axis at this point because we just want a horizontal sliding motion. So. We've given ourselves a few seconds, six seconds to be exact, and I'm gonna just slide this over like that till I'm out of frame. There we go. And that's gonna be the starting framing to this shot. And that's essentially it. Now, if the, slider, if the slider motion seems jarring, then that may mean that you're trying to cover too wide of a distance 
too quickly. So right here you can see that it, it's a little bit jarring and if we play this back, it's not terrible, but it does just kind of stop pretty abruptly and, and it doesn't seem great. So let's just take this motion and drag it out. Let's see what that looks like. So now we're doing a much, much slower slider motion. And something like this is going to be a lot less jarring when it finishes. And oftentimes you don't even need to finish the motion before cutting to another clip. That's a great way to handle post-production slider motions like this. I've tried a lot of different ways of slowing the motion down towards the ends, uh, fading in and out and all that sort of stuff. And you know, some of that stuff works, some of it doesn't, but just doing a very subtle motion and then if you need to stop it at some point makes it a lot less jarring when you do need to stop it. So essentially that's all you have to do to make a slider motion. Uh, I've, I've played around with this a lot. I would encourage you to play around with this a lot, but even if you have an, an iPhone, uh, if you have an iPhone, what is it, 7 or later, you're, you're able to shoot 4K video, so you should be able to do something like this because for 4K video, a, a lot of the hard parts about working with 4K video is you don't have a lot of ability to screw around with motion or anything like that on your smartphones with 4K. And this is a great way to utilize 4K on your smartphone uh, without really pushing it to its limits. This is really what 4K is meant for, is, is being able to play around with it a lot more in post-production. Not, not so much that you want 4K resolution for your the, the consumers of your content, but rather that you can have 4K video that allows you to do stuff like this in post. All right, everyone, that's all I've got for you today. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. I really appreciate you guys being here with me today, and we'll see you on the next one. Later, guys.